division and our law gets rogue. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Snake DST and this is going to be a viciously awesome vicious striker AR build. So I'm using vicious a lot. You guys will obviously figure out what talents I use on my guns by just saying that. But um yeah, so this is my build video. Uh, on my build that I use for striker, uh, I know striker is gonna get is getting changed. Striker is hated, blah blah blah. I like to use double ARs though, so hopefully I'm not getting too much hate for using striker to begin with. But let's uh, let's get over the pieces. Let's go see what I use. Here we go. Let's get right into the pieces one by one, starting with the weapons. So my first weapon that I actually have in my second slot, on, uh, surprisingly, just keeps me uh, mentally understanding what, what weapon I start off with, but is Vicious, Deadly, and Competent. I use this weapon to start off with because of the competent skill, say in like a 1v1 situation or in a situation where you're just starting off with and you need some good damage. The reason why I use Vicious, guys, is because a lot of times of the fight, you really don't want to be at low health. I know in the, like in the past, people have said you want to use Unforgiving more than anything, or... Something like that because you're never always at full health, but if you have a good survivability, good movement, and good shooting, uh, having Vicious, in my opinion, also is very helpful. At least, this is on the first gun. Uh, vicious being that it is, critical hit chance is increased by 10% while having more than two segments of health. My second talent is Deadly. Critical hit damage is increased by 15%. So Deadly and Vicious go really well together, and that's why I like it. Competent, as everyone knows, is weapon damage is increased by 10% for 15 seconds after using a skill, meaning you can get um, about 30 seconds of competent if you use your skills wisely. My magazine is an extended mag with crit chance, crit damage. I have a red dot, uh, pro red dot sight, crit damage, headshot damage, and crit chance. My, I have a large uh, suppressor, FDE suppressor to be exact, with crit damage, crit chance, and stability. And my under my uh, small group red is crit damage, optimal range, and reload speed. I would probably put honestly stability on that, um, but it doesn't really matter to be honest. I usually I just use it for the crit damage. Uh, if I'm gonna be honest with you guys. As my secondary weapon, it is a lightweight M4. Both of them are lightweight M4s, by the way. I do have other weapons I can use, such as the uh, Lavoa, but I like I like my talents on these ones, and I have these like this because. I, I prefer the lightweight for some reason. I know other people have other preferences, but I like my lightweight M4. Uh, this one is Deadly. Unforgiving, which is missing health segments, increase your damage. One missing segment, plus 10. Two is plus 25. And then Vicious. I like this one a lot for um, overall use because while you're fighting somebody, you're losing health. And if you get your health back, you're, getting, you're going between Vicious and Unforgiving quite a bit. And if you're staying in that middle range... Uh, you're getting vicious and unforgiving the proc at the same time, while deadly is always proccing, even if even with and without vicious, because it is just critical damage. So the more crit chance you get, more crits you get, is always increased by 15%. My sidearm is a double-barreled sawed-off, fully optimized with predatory, sustained, and talented. Meaning, if I use this sidearm, I can get predatory, which is killing a target regenerates 35% of health over 20 seconds. Sustained is killing a target increases your health by six second uh, by six percent on six seconds six percent and Talented is killing a target with this weapon increases skill power by 15% for 20 seconds This effect does not stack and killing a new target refreshes the timer But still if like you were to get one down and then you need to pop a boost your talented uh, Can help out just like just a bit more than usual To the gear pieces starting with the chest piece it is a fully optimized firearms roll health skill haste and ammo capacity um, I have skill haste just to get my skills a bit faster. Um, honestly, anybody can run anything there like EAD or enemy uh, or um, exotic damage resilience. It doesn't really matter, but I use health, skill haste, and ammo with uh, fully optimized uh, firearms. Uh, my mods are a stamina and health mod. Uh, stamina and firearm health mod for both. Uh, one of each. The mask is stamina rolled, crit hit chance with burn resistance. I can also change that at any moment. I have one other one other uh, spot I can change, like the burn resistance or the crit chance I could change if I wanted to, but I like the way it is, so I fully optimize it as such, with the mod being a stamina crit chance mod. Uh, my mods, uh, side note, are not maxed rolled, so they could always get I can always get better mods with 267 and have just that bit more of a advantage on my build. 
My knee pads are health rolled with stamina roll, uh, fully optimized, bleed, burn, and disorient. Um, those minor attributes just help out a little bit when it comes to just being disoriented, burned by people, or just bleed and bleed, bleed in general. But I have health on it for the survivability. My mods on there are a stamina with crit chance mod and a 6% first aid self heal mod. My backpack is uh, rolled for firearms with crit damage and ammo capacity just to have extra ammo. Because why not? I mean, I, you could put anything else down there. I could put down bleed resistance or anything else in that minor attribute. But I just put ammo because ammo is nice. Especially running dual ARs, you need, uh, you need quite a bit of ammo, I'd say, in my personal opinion. Uh, the mods are firearms mod with crit chance, and the other two are six percent, six percent self held mods, both, uh, both in each slot. The gloves are firearms is rolled as well, crit chance, crit damage, assault rifle damage. The holster is crit chance. Obviously, everything else is also fully optimized, and the uh, mod is another six percent first aid self heal mod. Going to the character, you can see my different low, uh, attributes: firearm, stamina, electronics, weapon. Crit chance, crit damage, headshot, accuracy, stability, range, reload, reload speed bonus, bonuses on the weapons, if there is any. In combat, you can see that I have a 6% health on kill, 15% enemy armor damage, my skill power is 88, my skill haste of 9, survivability with health, armor, health regeneration, Bleed resistance, burn resistance, disorient resistance, and so on and so forth all the way down the list. This is my build. If there's any questions on the build itself, feel free to ask in the comments below. But this is what it would do on a target. You can see how the normal shots are about... 40 and above and the crits are about 60 and above up to 80 it looks like and if I hit the head as you well, obviously you can tell that with the stacks the uh, the damage numbers get higher um, without a doubt of course but you know it starts off at low numbers about 20 and then works its way up once you get more stacks if I were to say use the competent one and bop a booster you can see that it already does start off pretty well do it again because just in case I still have competent proct put my box down get my competent back up do it again guys hope you guys did enjoy the video hope you guys enjoyed the build obviously many other youtubers and other people have obviously made videos close to this equal to this same exact thing different and a little bit here and there um this is just what i run this is what i like it works out for me um anything that could be improved i also i will continue to improve it on the slightly uh, like a, with different weapons different talents i tried out and such and so forth but for the most part this is what I like. This is what I really use. If you guys ever watch my videos, and I'm running this rifle, especially this one, th uh, this secondary one has uh, kind of just been introduced to the build. Uh, I used to run a Lavoa with Responsive Unforgiving Deadly, uh, but I just got to this one now. But for all those watching the videos and or live streams where I'm using this rifle right here, this is the exact same build with the exact same weapon all I did would change recently it's just I added this lightweight instead of the Loa I switched them um, other than that though this has been Snake DST hope you guys did enjoy hope you guys have a great day I'll see you guys next time and um I love you peace out bros that was gay I'm sorry <laughs>